Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is part 2 of the create and edit text files. Today's video is going to be on VI. So the VI editor you're going to find pretty much default on almost, almost all Linux systems or Unix systems as well. Um, it can use uh, by any type of terminal because it does not depend on arrow keys and function keys. It all uses sound standard uh, alphabetic keys. So it's, it's, uh, it's very widely used and uh, yeah, you'll find it almost everywhere. So it's, it's a good one to learn. It's a little bit more complicated than Nano, but certainly it's a good one to learn. So firstly, let's open a file. So it's as simple as vi which is the, the application and then just the file name okay so we can see the file is empty and we've got the file name in the bottom there which is file 1 we can see that we're on 0 line and 0 character and we are currently in what's called the command mode okay the command mode is essentially waiting for you to input essentially commands so you can do lots of um, automated actions so like perhaps you want to delete five lines of text or five words or whatever you can do lots of stuff with just simple uh, character based commands so this is this is what it's in at the moment and we can see these uh, tildes on each line just to, show, just to show that's an empty line essentially so to get into insert mode we click the button I for insert in some cases you can use the insert key but the I is the, the one that will work every single time because that's the common key okay so we can just put some text in here just do a test okay and to get out of the insert mode we can click escape and you can see that insert at the very bottom is gone and we can click uh, then we've got to do the shift and we do a colon and then we can say write, that's to write the file and then Q for quit so we can just say write for example to enter the command write so that's written the file and you can see it's written one line five characters and you can see here this is also where we are currently so the first line fourth character, third character, second character etc and we can do then we can do, we can again write quit if you wanted to, or we can do quit. And that'll come out. To create a new file, we literally just go vi again, and we can do vi file. And you can see here it's specifying new file. So that means we haven't written it yet, so this is all just in memory at the moment. Let's write some test, test, test one, two, three, some text okay so let's so insert mode is pretty easy you just you know you, once you're in insert you can literally write whatever you need to do uh, you can do you can do exit okay so once you're in insert mode create so moving the cursor so you can in most cases use just the arrow keys However, you may find some systems uh, do not uh, accept the arrow keys. So to be able to move the cursor when you're in this command mode, you need to use, uh, it's not the most um, user-friendly ones, but you can use the, the H, J, K, and L keys. So the down and up are the J and K. So, so if you go, oops. J and K. So we've got K going up, J going down, and then you've got the each end, we've got the L and the H on the keyboard. So H goes left and L goes right. So again, yeah, K up, J down, H left, L right. Or in my case, I can use the keyboard. I think most likely you can just use the um, arrow keys but that may be something to remember just in case it doesn't work. Right, so there's some common commands here as well. So there's the X, uh, the X letter, which means delete a particular, uh, a single character. So you can combine this. So if we do, 
So if we want to delete, say we delete the T letter, click the X and it deletes it. We can use the U to undo that. And we combine, we can actually combine the X with a number value. So if we want to delete four letters, we just literally say four. You can see down here it's showing what we're currently writing, four, and then four X. Uh, one thing to note, it has to be before. So let me just do that again. Let's put this at the start of the line and just do four X. So that will delete the whole line. So you, it's four before, four after the uh, cursor. So if we do a U again, just bring it back. We can also do it the opposite way around by using the uppercase X. So I move it back over this side and we can do again four. But if this time if we do a capital X, it will delete all the four characters before. But it's because we're on that T at the moment and we're not beyond that T, it will only delete those characters before. So it's actually deleting three characters until the end of the line. Okay, so just do U again. So if I do, so if we go back here and we just do two capital X, we'll delete the two characters, as you can see. Pretty simple. We can also now, we can delete our words. So if we want to, rather than individual characters, we can delete the entire words. So if we go here and we want to delete this, the word sum in here, we can say uh, DW, D word, delete word. There you go, delete word. If you want to, again, we can combine that with uh, numerical values. So we can say 2DW and it deletes both the words. Excellent. Another quick one I use quite often is uh, delete the line. So we can use the DD command. So we can delete multiple lines again, the same. But we switch, say if we want to delete the next three lines, we just say three DD, and then we delete the three lines. And you can see the bottom three fewer lines. Okay, we'll just undo that again. We can use the uppercase D to delete from the cursor position at the end of the line. So if you're, say, at the end of a particular line and you want to delete that line, you can use that uppercase D to do that. So we can do a replace as well. So we've got the, it's the R key to replace. So if we want to replace, let's do R and then S, some test. So it's simple as that, it's just the R to replace. If we want to replace the entire word, we can put the start of the word, say C change word, CW. Then we can say uh, some tests, okay and then press escape to get back to command mode. Again, you can do the, you can combine it with the numerical values. We can do an alternative as well. So we can do that, that as a capital C instead for change. You can see it's deleted after the line. So I'll just do it. Cancel on that again. To insert text, in a line, just go to where the new text should go, click I and uh, text <laughs> some more tests. Okay, great. <laughs> Press escape to get back. Okay, it's very simple. To append text to the end of a line, it's A, and you just it will automatically already, as you can see, look, if you press A, it's already moved the cursor. Uh, one across to give you to, to start then uh, to append onto that current line. So maybe put it like that. Okay, cool. Go back. All right to open a new blank line. This is a common one we use again. So from a new line in here. So we're just here. And we want to create a new line. Just press the O key, and that will insert a new line uh, below the current line. And of course we can do the opposite again. So it's a capital O, so shift and O, you insert a new line above that line. Let's do an undo and undo, there's no point in that one. To join two lines together, so let me just make these two lines next to each other. To join these two, two lines together, uh, just type J, capital J, that is. And you can see that it's just joined those two lines together. 
again we can do perhaps four lines let's do hey let's just do six lines go crazy okay so it's all behind the cursor if I go to the very top and do 6j we've got some uh, quite a lot combined there cool all right so there's I mentioned the u command but there's also um, uh, the capital U which actually undoes all edits on a particular line so as long as you stay in this line you can make multiple edits uh, oh, I've just really gone out of the line myself let's do a couple more one, two, three, close, oops okay and then we do capital U you can see it undoes undoes all the edits I did, not just individually, individually, it undoes all of them in one big fell sweep, which is quite nice uh, if you do lots of editing there. Um, there's some also some extra key movements. Um, to be honest, it's of limited use, most of these ones, but you can move forward and back by a particular word, so you can do like a uh, so if we go down here and we can do the W to move forward by one word uh, B to move back by one word I don't know uh, the dollar sign to move towards the end of the line that can be quite useful sometimes zero key to move to the start of the line um, the H to move to the top line of the screen the M to move to the middle of the line of the screen G to move to the last line of the file and L, which should pretty much be the same in this case at least. So G will move to the last line of the file, however far down that is, whereas the L will move to the last line in the current screen. Next one is the search command. So that's just the slash key, so it's forward slash. And then we can just type in what we're searching for. And you can see there it's come straight up highlighted there. If we've got, so let's do a test here. We can do, so it's currently highlighted on the uh, the white result. So if we want to repeat the search, we just press N. Oh, and so that's done the search. So, sorry, test, press enter. So that's the first result. Press N to repeat the te uh, search. Okay. You can see four results. We can search in reverse order by using the capital N. You can see it's searching backwards. And then finally, saving and quitting. So a quick one you can do is uh, to save and quit is capital Z, capital Z. And you can see it's quickly saved and quit the file. Um, I normally like to just do the right quit because it's you get the output as you go along. So here you go right quit three make changes test and quit so if we just do Q for quit you're gonna see a no right since last change so if we don't want to keep the right we did we can just do quit and uh, the bang sign or uh, explanation mark and that will quit the file. So we've got command, write, quit, and you've got exclamation mark. So you may need to do all three of these. So you want to write the file, quit, and the exclamation mark means to force it. So in some cases you may have uh, files that have been set as read-only, but the, the root user or whatever needs to overwrite that file, say it's a configuration file or something like that, this can then force it to be overwritten. That is a, pretty much a very quick run on uh, VI. There's also VIM, which is uh, VI improved. I find it slightly better. It's got better um, syntax highlighting, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I find, it, I find it quite good. Just one thing to note with both of these. Um, so if we just open them without any prompt, we can actually, as you can see on here, we've got the, the help yeah, so we just do help.
help. You can see the quick uh, help text, which is quite nice. So it's quite useful as a as help. Of course, as usual, there's the man pages. Um, yeah, and you've got the info pages, etc. What I'll do at the very bottom uh, in the description of the video, I'll pop in all the uh, useful commands uh, for VI and just pop it there so you can you can have a look and practice that. Uh, I've also popped there uh, a, a VIM or which works for VI as well, a cheat sheet. And finally, there's a there's a brilliant website called OpenVIM.com, which actually uh, is like an interactive tutorial on VI, which I found really useful when I was learning it. So um, yeah, that's that really concludes the video. Uh, I hope it's been useful. Uh, thanks for watching once again. Please subscribe, um, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of when I put my next video up. Um, and like the video if you find it useful. Uh, thanks for watching again and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.